Hey guys, how's it going? Burdrick here, and welcome back to my Alan Wake playthrough. In my last video, we just finished off episode 3, so let's see what happened previously and get right into it. Previously on Alan Wake, I'm hunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that Ryder just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the Dark Presence before it attacked me. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Alice. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you're lying. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, Alan. Just let go. How did I know where to find me? I just fell in a lake and he just comes out of nowhere? I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. There were only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. Hmm. Nice little cabin. The door was locked. Oh, what? I was a prisoner here. Ugh. Good evening, oh. Ellen. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Why, I could why? take him. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. What's this one? Looks dark. What these? Well, they all, they're all dark. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. Ooh, an elevator. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Oh, I guess that's way, it. Game over. I wasn't ready for Story. the shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. 
Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? Mm. You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. I don't know, man. We both know this. Everything I believe me. Be explained logically. So I say. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. Thomas Zane. Hmm. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Pretty sweet view, man. Ah, I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. I wonder if this well, guy's like in on that. it, or like this way, he's completely oblivious. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all Ooh, your door. nightmares, this should come as an uh -huh. immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, can't I dug do my nails into myself. the palms of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Who's this guy? Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> what the Emerson. frick? <laughs> I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. Strike. Ooh, it's yeah. trash, uh, of yeah. course, but yeah. it does involve I'll some small creative effort, which <laughs> makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. Who are you? Come out, never mind. Good luck, lady. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Hmm. Oh, these two guys. My rheumatism's killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers. Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. <laughs> they even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, 
in advanced stages of dementia. They are well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Don't you remember me, guys? Oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? Oh, he knows. He knows. I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. Val you just call me Tom. We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Oh, thanks, man. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, uh. the Andersons made more sense. Tom, got any booze on you? Can yeah. I read that page? Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We have a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Locked. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Ugh. You Punch him in the right. face. Moonbeams on the brain. Bad dream. You can't wake up. You can't hurt a nightmare because all dreams are only a Imagination. They're only in your head and they're not there when you wake up. So you can't wake up because I'm in charge now and I don't want to disappear. My nightmare is the publisher people who want to make a contribution so they can say they made a contribution. And then we end up with mullets in there because they think mullets are funny, but it wasn't supposed to be about mullets. And now it's about What the frick is this guy talking about? Yeah, I'm just gonna leave you alone. call it mullet time because the no Mm. Oh, hello. I've painted you. Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. Uh, doesn't really look like me, but sure. Well, I guess I'd better start wrapping this up. The storm is almost here. Look at that. I'd hate to be out there tonight. And that makes me the scariest He's still talking. Jeez. Hey, wake. Why don't you humor <coughs> Dr. Me. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, wake. Don't make me take the stairs, jerks. I want to take the elevator. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's something behind you. Where her heart should be. The frick? I think I've made a horrible mistake. 
I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. Oh boy. Ooh, a QR code. See where it goes. Assuming it still works, I don't know. I can't even get in there. Oh, it's over here. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Wake Emerson. Huh, nice. Hartman wanted me to write. I knew I couldn't, but I figured I should just Scamer play along guy. for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. Must be a level for his game. Locked. Oh, it's open. Oh, it's that painter guy, I think. I already was only in there, so I'll skip that. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Yo, okay, buddy. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, Barry's here. Gotta save him. Crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy well, old fart hit her hard. Fast, if she was one of Hartman's they? goons, uh, she had it coming. Uh, I could get the key uh, to the office wing from Sinclair. I had to get to Hartman's office. Yours, he had taken all Save my manuscript pages. Destiny. That's why he's the key to I'm taking it. You got it, buddy. I think it's staff room this way. Come out and face the music, Birch. It's time to pay the I don't know why they keep calling me Tom. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made of the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? He's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's... Do you mean with you? No. Jeez. Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. Oh, so Hartman was part of it. These pictures are weird. You don't ever say this. No, no. I've tried, but he's not listening. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. 
Hartman had been playing me all along. Oh. Hartman, do you hear me? I'm gonna oh, it's Barry. Seriously. Barry? Ow! About time. Barry. Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no. The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time. But I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. Yeah, but she she didn't know, man. Oh, my pages and a gun. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie, and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Hartman, what... shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he smiled. That was at that one manuscript. Can I find it? Hold on, I'll find it real quick. I think... Two... No, three maybe? This I one? slammed the door shut yeah, here it is. in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left, no guilt either, not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. The dark presence would be on me in a moment. Huh, that was kind of cool, a little a foreshadowing out. there, but... Oh, well, I need a light. Oh, what the... Open, come on. Go, go, go. I'm screwed. I don't hurry. What? I hit open. Oh, I gotta click. Okay, floating stuff. No, thank you. Oh, okay, not that way. Sorry. I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. Hmm. Up here. Generator, yeah. Starter up. Come on. Nice. Should be good to go. What would happen if you used that and then you had nothing else to use? That uh, would 
probably suck. on that front and he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here damaged in ways that were hard to describe or worse it was enough for Hartman to oh that's true they're all like and provide direction creators or producer. artists or that was what most musicians of were in need of anyway huh of course suitable subjects were few and far in between run uh oh. What's that? Whoa! Oh boy. Come on. Come on. Break it. What? Oh, I need to be close. This one should be good. Oh, one more. Oh, no, it's out. Okay. Hide in here. Go. Okay, you should break this one now. Okay, ready? Oh! Oh, at least I got it. Ow, ow! I'm here! It's close. I found the car, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there! Barry, I don't have a light! Take this, Al! Oh god! Look at the house, Al! Look out! What the hell? Uh oh. No, thank you. Oh! Come on, come on, come on, please don't hurt me! Go, go, go. Whew. Looks bad. Let's get out of here. I'll be right there. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop it here. Um, yeah, it's a pretty interesting episode so far. I'll try to play it in the uh, next couple days or so. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, and like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.